So this is the very first Chappaqua PTA STEM Fest, and if you've never heard the term STEM, it stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. So it's a day for kids of all ages. We have kindergartners, we have high schoolers who are here and are showing us what they've come up with, what they've created. They have inventions, experiments, research. It runs the whole gamut from a wonder underwater robot to a hand-built musical instrument to the study of frogs. It's the response that we got was so overwhelming. When we first started talking about this last fall, we thought, could we do a STEM Fest? They're popping up all over the country. Sometimes they're called maker fairs. It's kind of the new spin on the old school science fair. And we thought, could we do this year? Would there be enough kids interested? And we set it up a low goal for ourselves. We thought, all right, we've got six schools in the district. What if we aim to get five kids or five groups of kids from each school? Would that make an event? And the response that we got completely blew that out of the water. We used Google Docs as our registration form. And every day, the list of kids signing up was growing and growing and growing and growing. And pretty soon, we realized that we were approaching 100 kids. Then we were at 150. Before we knew it, we had hit 200. And that was just the kids alone. Beyond that, we reached out to businesses that are in the area. So either national companies like IBM, international companies like IBM or Google, regional companies, local companies, to come and do hands-on maker activities. Something for the kids to really get their hands dirty and to experience some sort of science, technology, engineering, math project. And those companies kept coming and reaching out to us. And we were blown away there again by how many people wanted to be involved. So if you take a look down this hallway, this is a dowel and rubber band sculpture. The kids are experimenting with how to build a structure that is freestanding. And they have to work together and they have to figure out if there's a problem and it's falling apart, how do they solve it? So it's engineering, it's a little bit of, it's definitely collaboration, it's project-based learning, and this is just one example of all of the amazing projects we have going on here. We've completely filled the gym, front and back. We've completely filled the auditorium. Our goal, obviously, is to do this again next year, and if we do, I think we're gonna have to figure out how do we squeeze more tables into this building? So uh, this is 3D printing, and basically it's the process of building up a three-dimensional, tangible, physical object, layer by layer. So as we see right here, this material is being pulled through the machine, pulled it up, and then pushed out. And the machine's moving around to put the material in the right place. So as we call it, that allows us to build up big objects like this. This alone can support more than a thousand pounds of pressure. So, just give you an idea. Also, a big thing is materials. This, this is rigid, it doesn't move. But this, this flexes itself. This flexes itself. And this allows us to do so much. So, for example, right here, I would call a soft robot. And that's a robot that doesn't use any hard moving parts. It's, it just uses air to inflate and cause actuation. And that is the parents who've gotten involved with this have been so committed and so devoted to making it happen, De devoting their own time, volunteering to get the companies that they work for to come here. And I think this is only going to get bigger every year. We'd also like to just say thank you to all of the teachers 
who reached out to us to say, can we be involved? Can we bring our maker club? Can we bring our engineering students from the high school? And the support of everybody else in the PTA and the school district. This is what makes it happen. Let us know how you want to get involved. Every idea is a good idea. 